From NPR in Los Angeles, I'm Tavis Smiley. They may not be A-list talents whom we actually see, but we are familiar with their voices. These are the voices that sell our favorite products, make a new product or service appealing or run down, coming attractions on both the big and small screen. They are voiceover artists. If you've ever had an interest in doing voiceover work, then have a seat. My next guest, Rodney Salisbury, has for many years been a top talent in this closely knit industry. His work ranges from Toyota and Alpo commercial campaigns to movie trailers for films like How Stella Got Her Groove Back and Dumb and Dumberer. A mad scientist out to prove his worth to the world. An average athlete who wants to be a superstar. Together, they will search for victims and take their minds. This holiday season, hide your thoughts, hide your fears, hide your mind. From the director of Wild Geese Don't Fly, James Gunnery, Drew Domdanovich, and introducing Clay Reed, Mind Raiders, directed by Antonio Ferrelli, rated PG-13. America Online keyword, Mind Raiders. Rodney is now sharing his insider's view on the art and business of voiceovers with a book, You Can Bank on Your Voice, Your Guide to a Successful Career in Voiceovers. Rodney joins us now in our L.A. studios to embarrass me with those wonderful pipes. Rodney, nice to see you. <laughs> How you doing, Tavis? <laughs> you came and just embarrassed me, didn't you? No, no, I didn't. Just, no, to, show, didn't. just to show me what a real voice sounds That's like. That's not true. <laughs> tell, tell me how you got started in this uh, in this voiceover business. I started out as an actor, uh-huh. and uh, people would always say to me, you have a great voice, you should get into voiceovers. And I didn't know what voiceovers were, and I found out. And I made a cassette. At that time, we were making cassettes and took it to the top voiceover agents in town. Mm -hmm. And every one of them, except for one, wanted me. And I signed with the top agency in town. And it changed my life. I I stopped acting and uh, I decided this is going to be my life, voiceovers. A lot of folk don't know that you all actually have agents. There are folk in this business who spend their whole day getting work for people to use their voice. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yes. A very I'm, lucrative business, in fact. Very lucrative business. Yeah. Uh, when I talk about changing my life, that's a big part of it, yeah. um, the money. Um, and it's something that I love. And, yes, I do have an agent. Uh, they work very hard to uh, keep me busy, and the phone is always ringing. I start as early as 5.30 in the morning uh, working at home on an ISDN line. To explain what ISDN means, mm. you got a special hookup in your house. Yes, I do. Well, you get up, go into a room, turn some knobs like we are in this studio right now. That's right. And you can talk to people all around the world on that one line and sound just as wonderful as you sound now. That's right. Yeah, yeah it's uh, technology is just wonderful today. Yeah. I mean, I even had an instance uh, the other day where I had to record a voiceover in the car. Wow. <laughs> and uh, stopped off at um, a place where you can have uh, Wi-Fi and emailed it to the source. Wow. How does one know when one has a voice? Because, I mean, people will tell you anything. Right. You have a great voice. You right, should do voiceover. Right. So how does one know when one does, in fact, have a voice mm-hmm. that one can get paid for? And I suspect that they're not looking for people to sound the same. They need, they do need a variety of voices. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we have trends in the business. Right. And today the trend is to find somebody that sounds like a real person. Mm-hmm. You know, the DJ thing, the low thing. You know, people always say to me, well, Rodney, I can't do voiceovers because I don't sound like you. But the reality is when if you actually listened to what's going on on the radio, you would notice that you hear regular people doing commercials. You know, so any kind of voice is is a great voice for voiceover. When you're craving a taste of New Orleans, there's only one way to get this fabulous flavor fast. Zataran's Frozen Entrees. That's right, frozen. Lunchtime, dinner time. Anytime's the right time for Zataran's Frozen Entrees. Just six minutes in the microwave, and you've got a taste that's as bold as a New Orleans brass band. <laughs> It's when you decide that you want to pursue it, when you know about it. And the real important thing is how you interpret copy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Voice over really is voice acting. Oh, man, this could be depressing. Yeah! Continue, too hard to hit through, moves number 36, 37, 38, and 39. Yeah! I'm going to finish you, fool. See this, fool? Stop playing around, fool. Ooh. These rocket sequels in here, fool. Randy, Spider-Man was just doing what he thought was right. And the person that wins the jobs, the person that works the most, is the person that can take that copy off of that piece of paper and sell it 
So you really haven't gotten too far away from your acting roots. Oh, you can't. You yeah. can't get away from it. No, you, you, it's it's definitely acting. Tell me um, what you advise people. I mean, you got a nice thick book here, so we can't walk through all of it. Right. But what's the advice you offer to people who believe or have been told mm-hmm. that they might have a voice that they can, in fact, bank on? Well, I advise them to find uh, a coach, go to school, learn technique. Technique is very important. If I have technique... It lessens the enhancement that the engineer has to put on my voice. Mm -hmm. And then you want to make a demo. Mm -hmm. And after you make your demo, you want to seek an agent. But not on a cassette anymore, though. Not on a cassette. (laughs) (laughs) It's CD now. Yeah, we're past those days. Yes, we are. On the high side, Mm -hmm. on the absolute high side, Mm -hmm. how much bank can one bank on a career like this in a year? Oh, a million. Wow. You know, of course. Yes, wow, of that course. kind of money. Oh, no doubt about it. Just doing voiceover. Uh, you can get 100000 on one commercial. Wow. So, so tell me how that works. You get paid one time, mm-hmm. or you get paid every time that commercial runs? Um, if it's a union job mm-hmm. and it's a union commercial, you know, uh, yes, you get paid every time it runs. Yes. Tell me what you most enjoy about having the opportunity to hear yourself in a variety of places. And do you... Instantly, I guess you do recognize yourself when you're in the car or mm-hmm. walking through a store. Mm-hmm. You hear your voice. You you know it's you, I guess. Paramount Pictures presents an MTV Films Amaru Entertainment production from executive producer Afeni Shakur, Tupac Resurrection. Celebrate the best in music, movies, and television at the 34th NAACP Image Awards. Own Undercover Brother. Get it on DVD. Friday after next. Merry Christmas! Rated R. Starts Friday, November 22nd. The world champion Lakers are taking on the Clippers in a battle for city bragging rights. Cedric the Entertainer presents Wednesday's Fox Fall. From the writer-director of The Brothers, LL Cool J. Ah! How do I stop? How do I stop? Gabrielle Union. Deliver us from Eva. That is it, gentlemen. It's a joy, Tavis. It is such a joy. I had a friend call me the other day, and all he said when I picked up the phone was, uh, chakalaka mocha, zappa zappa, and and I knew right away he was referring to a uh, commercial that I have on where I talk about how your gas could cost as much as one of those mocha latte mm-hmm. cafe drinks, you know, from yeah. one of these uh, coffee places. And and people do that all the time. You know, uh, I do the Zataran spots, and, uh, of course, I've got a um, a character voice on that, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, Jazz it up with Zatarans. Yeah. And people will come up to me, and they'll <laughs> do that voice, you know. Yeah. And, um, no, I, I always love it. And and it's, it's such a great thing. Like when you're with people, you're watching a football game, mm-hmm. and uh, your commercial happens to come on. Or maybe you're the sponsor for the show that day. Mm-hmm. of commercial that you have on, so you're going to be hearing it all through the whole run. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's wonderful. So, mm-hmm. get an agent. Yes. No, what would you say first? No, I said first get some classes. Get some classes, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then? Then you do a demo. Do a demo. And then get an agent. Get an agent. So I'm, yes. just, I'm just taking notes here. So all right. Just in case, <laughs> just in case I need some extra work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. From my L.A. studio, voiceover artist extraordinaire and author of You Can Bank on Your Voice, Rodney Salisbury. Rodney, nice to see you, man. Nice to see you, too. To hear Rodney voicing portions of the audio version of his book and to learn vocal technique, log on to our website at npr.org.